Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, EMW Figure Shelf, and today we're going to be talking about Mattel's WWE Fan Takeover. This arrived via Amazon, and honestly, if I was a mint on card guy, I would be upset as the top of the packaging has a couple of nice dingers. They really should get Defenders cases. As we look at the packaging, a lot of blue and yellow here. And on the back, you see the rest of the figures in the wave, along with the poll of which attires were available for vote. Obviously, WrestleMania 3 took the winner here. Personally, I would have liked even a Chi-Town Rumble maybe one day and looking at the picture of Ricky he's wearing red tights which is a little off-putting since that's not a Wrestlemania 3 look shout out to JR Earls of JR's Wrestle Graphics he could probably tell you what attire that actually Ricky is from in the back of the picture as we look at this head scan, personally I wish they would have gave him a little more emotion I'm very big on expressions and figures and this one just kind of looked a little you know, ordinary to me. You know, I, I feel like they could have captured a little bit more with Ricky. Accessories here include the interchangeable open hands that we've been seeing quite a bit now, along with the classic plated WWF, WWE, Intercontinental Championship, and a minor nitpick here, but the championship at that time for that WrestleMania 3 event had a red W. I, well, it said WWF, but it would have been nice to see a red W here. I know it could be easily customizable, however, just a minor detail. And before we go any further, I'd like to backtrack to November 22nd, 1986, as these two went at it on WWF Superstars. And no, not that, Superstars. WWF Superstars. As Macho Man and Ricky Steamboat had went at it, Macho Man at the end of the match grabs a ring bell, dives off, hits Ricky in the throat, thus crushing his larynx in storyline, and the feud would culminate on March 29th, 1987, in the Pontiac Silverdome in Pontiac, Michigan, in front of 93,000 plus people. Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant were the main events. This stole the show and honestly inspired a generation of pro wrestlers and wrestling fans. I mean, it's hard to disagree. This match was an absolute classic. For all of you younger fans out there watching this, please go check this out on the WWE Network. This figure is identical to the WWE Flashback figure from a couple years ago in the Walmart line to build the Commissioner Shawn Michaels. And if you had gotten that figure, you probably were going to pass on this instantly unless you were a completist. Me, personally, I missed on that set completely, so I'm actually very happy to get this Ricky here. As we look at the figure and look at the gi, it have a huge black belt met with the white gi with the RS on the right side facing your left. As you look at the left arm, he has a nice patch here. It looks like almost like a dragon design with a red lining and a black background. And then on the back, it has in red, the dragon, with a lot of green designs going around it. All right, and as we now turn our attention to the attire, the attire is a plain white. There's not a lot going on here up until you get to the boot area, which has a uh, red lining, black laces, and nice dragon designs on the outer parts of each boot. Not a lot going on, but honestly, it does pop when you put it on a shelf. All right, I want to compare them now, all the uh, Ricky Steamboat Elites that I have. And honestly, these figures just always felt really short to me. I don't know how you guys feel. Maybe you could chime in on the comment section down below. Do you feel like these Ricky figures were always a little on the shorter side? Just something about them just felt that way to me. As we look at the headstands now, comparing it to the very first Legend Series 1 Ricky from 2010, it's identical. It's actually probably the same sculpt with just a better upgraded paint job with the eyes and there's a little bit of a like a five o'clock shadow goatee you could really see it better in person but 
It's very, very faint. I kind of like that a lot. At the end of the day, I really prefer if they had done a better likeness in terms of expression. Again, I'm very big on character. Overall, I really, really like this figure a lot. I'm very happy they finally did a reissue of it for people like myself that were not able to get this before. Um, it's on Amazon right now. I Maybe they'll turn up in Walmart probably about a month or so. I'm not really sure, but they're on, Wal they're on Amazon. Um, the shipments have been a little awkward with them, but I would just keep taking a look and see if you find them. Just search in WWE Elite Fan Takeover, and uh, if you have to, type in Ricky Steamboat Mattel. Um, you'll bound to find one, but I highly recommend this if you haven't gotten one already. If you are a fan of Ricky Steamboat, and why wouldn't you? The guy has always been one of the best workers from his work in WWF to the territories to his classic iconic matches with Flair, which I wouldn't even mind a Shy town Rumble 2-pack with those two. You could definitely do something really nice. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please leave comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't so already, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!